The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not in any way reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. Kung may narinig mo kayo yung mga backgrounds dito, uh, siguro yung electric fan or whatever ambient sounds dyan. Sorry, uh, talagang hindi ko talaga pinag-isip na talaga itong ano na ito, itong recording na ito. But then again, this is something that I have to talk about. So, let's do it. Hi, I'm Ian Rinyon, an independent media practitioner, freelance writer, and content creator. Quick fire round lang dahil alam natin na medyo uso to ngayon. At yun yung uh, mga community pantries. Uh, in Metro Manila and elsewhere in the Philippines, nagkumalat na siya. For all I know, it all started in Maginhawa Street with a certain, hindi ko maalala kung anong pangalan eh, but then again, it's from a certain Facebook profile uh, named AP Nun. I'm not sure about an ibig sabihin ng AP. But then again, whoever this person is, nag-initiate siya ng isang community pantry sa Maginhawa Street uh, wherein naglagay siya ng karatwil dun um, magbigay ayon sa kakayahan kumuha batay sa pangailangan in English um, it's more of give what you can, take what you need that's the basic English thing but then again, there is this worry or sabihin na natin ano, misgiving din na hindi rin natin masisisi sa ibang sa mga ano, hindi man naysayer pero alam mo yun, medyo nagtatanong lang din or curious lang din kung ano ba talaga ang motibo ng mga ganitong klaseng initiatives. Kasi, a lot of people are speculating that this is uh, somehow uh, quote-unquote Marxist or whatever. Or social, or um, as I said dun sa bigla ang live ko last time, eh, sociali socialism in action. As I said earlier, forget the labels. But, then again, since natakal natin since natakal na natin to we might as well go ahead with a deep dive Hi Post Prod Ian here medyo nakakapanlumong uh, follow up sa ano na to, sa video na to kasi uh, ine, habang ine-edit ko ang video na to ay may luwabas na balita na ang uh, Maginhawa Street Community Pantry ay hindi muna magbubukas sa uh, araw na to sa uh, recording na to uh, due to the fact that um, it has been uh, red tagged sadly by uh, a bunch of people who don't appreciate what they uh, what they are doing uh, ganito po mga kababayan ha? Uh, hindi ko alam kung bakit na ano ko to na nalagpasan ko to nung nire-record ko to but uh, I just wanted to let you know that I really condemn the red tagging that was uh, done to this um, done to the Maginhawa Street uh, Community Pantry the one that started it all actually but I also condemn this uh, Facebook post from a certain page na nagsasabi na it's a Marxist idea uh, sa totoo lang ah I, I, want, I wanted to do a sent uh, centrist approach here or a central approach here not leaning too much to the left uh, just like that Facebook page na nagsasabi na uh, parang kinakredit grab na uh, it's socialism at work and all that uh, I don't wanna veer into that and I don't wanna veer too much to the right na magmumukha na akong ano, uh, typical ano, typical basher na, tip, na, ano, na tipong ano <laughs> talagang trolls na ang ano ang touring sa kanila so I wanted to be at at the center as much as possible 
I understand na medyo center left of center ang uh, approach ng ano ni, ni Miss Ana Patricia non but as someone who really is for the people uh, for the people on the ground floor not not the people upstairs uh, nor the ones outside the house if you know what I mean I really appreciate this ano this uh, concept sana lang talaga eh uh, uh, hindi siya ano hindi siya ma gan, magan, hindi maging ganun ka politicized ang uh, ano na to atong pangyayari na to anyway I've been dabbling too much about it about it I think I have I can uh, deal with all the things I want to say in the video so yeah let's go back to the video so most likely I am not sure how um, the proponents of this kind of ideology uh, such as Karl Marx have twisted uh, sacred scripture kasi kung hindi ako nagkakamali they've, they've basically inverted or sabihin na natin uh, perverted for the lack of a better term the words written by Saint Luke himself in the Acts of the Apostles. In chapter 2, verses 43 to uh, 46, ito yung naging basis ng ano eh, nung ideology nila eh. Kumbaga, they thought that this is the, a good idea na magbase sa ano, sa private interpretation ng sacred scripture. But then again, I'll I'll deal with this in the lens of the church uh, later on. But let me read it to you. So let's start with verse 43. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together had and, and had all things in common, and sold their possessions and goods, and parted them to all men, as every man had need. So technically, parang shinortin ko na lang sa verses 43 to 45. Chapter 2 verses 43 to 45 of the Acts of the Apostles. Dun binase. I think dun binase ni Karl Marx yung ano niya eh. Yung ano niya eh. Yung ideology niya eh. Kung hindi siya siya at si, uh, si Engels. I'm not sure about the name pero it's a bit of a stretch to uh, talk about uh, the origins of this. But you know mga kababayan, hindi mo rin talaga masisisi yung mga tao na ano eh, na medyo ano din yun critical pero nababahala lang din na may ano may bahid ng ano eh may bahid ng ideolohiya dito eh. and to be to be honest it shouldn't be and if ever there is I guess it should be a uniting factor not a dividing one at kung tutusin mas maganda sana na we see these community pantries with a Filipino lens, not with a foreign ideological one. Technically, bayanihan tong ginagawa nila. Eh. But then again, let's raise it further. It's not socialism. It's not just bayanihan. It should be charity at work. At kung tutusin, hindi to ang ano eh, hindi to ang pinaka ano eh, pinaka unang uh, initiative na ginawa ng mga Pilipino, ng parang parang community pantry or food bank dahil based on the research that I did the, li the little research that I did a lot of people have already done that a lot of people and a lot of organizations have already done that prior to this and uh, quite ironically it's um, religious you know, it's religious organizations that have uh, done this first kumbaga kung tutusin medyo nakisakay na nga lang ang mga taong bayan but Holy Mother Church doesn't mind. But then again, in nga mga kababayan, it's just sad that a lot of people are praising this too much. Although it's, ano ah, although, don't get me wrong, it's a good thing. But praising it to the point of uh, uh, labeling it as socialism at work or uh, kung ano man, kung may mga ideology man ni Karl Marx, parang hinahaluan nila ng ano, ng ideology at ng politika. I think it should be non-partisan to be honest. And in fact, the thing about 
these community pantries, a good friend of mine have said that I have actually questioned uh, the sustainability of these community pantries. Papaan nila masusustain ito kung mas malaki ang pangangailangan ng tao kesa kung anong kaya nilang iambag. Di ba sabi, uh, give what you can, take what you need. Pero real talk, how would you balance that if the needs of Uh, the needs of people are too high and the ability to give back is too low well it is plausible that it can be balanced because of this kind of in- these kind of initiatives and thank goodness it gains traction hindi mo rin talaga may iwasang magtanong eh sustainable ba talaga to makakayanan pang ipagpatuloy ang ganitong klase ano ganitong klase gawain kasi as long as ganyan yung sitwasyon na mas mataas ang pangangailangan ng tao sa kay- kesa ano, kaya nilang iampag. Kailangan at kailangan pa rin ano yun eh. Pondohan ng pondohan ng pondohan. And with the situation that we have right now, I don't think it's possible. But then again, I may be wrong. But as I said earlier, it's not just about politics mga kababayan. Eh. It's more of Filipinos being the best that, who, that they can be. And, the, and that means yung makapagtulong makakapagtulong ka nang walang kapalit yun dapat yun eh we don't just learn from the masses we also learn from ex- uh, from experiences that we have hindi ko alam kung paano ko to i ano eh i the deal eh and uh, medyo natatagalan na rin ako sa recording na to pero as much as possible mga kababayan we should not politicize these kind of initiatives kung ano man kung kailangan man natin tong ano eh Uh, ipamalandakan it should be at the very least promoted in the name of Bayanihan not by any utopian ideology uh, for the lack of a better term because I really think it should be absolutely non-partisan and would only favor the people and quite honestly it's a good thing that the proponents of this uh of this community pantry concept have distanced themselves with the socialist narrative or the uh, ideological narrative or the utopian narrative i guess as i said earlier it should be a, a uniting factor these kind of initiatives should be a uniting factor not a dividing one and wherever we are in the political and ideological spectrum it should be considered as that yun lang naman ng ano ko dun. Yun lang naman ang take ko dun. I really wanted to do a deep dive on this but I think we have dove, dove uh, deep enough for a short um, for a short video kasi kung tatalakayan natin to ng, ano, ng sobra-sobra baka baka gawin ko na lang siya bigla ang live. <laughs> anyway, di ko alam kung paano ko to i-edit but then again, I might as well uh, cut this here and uh, I think ano I've said enough. So, with all that said, this is Ian reminding you to at all times be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, do what is necessary, and do it out of charity, of course. And as always, see you next time. Ian out.